Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to install Remake. The first thing we need to do is install Node.js though, because it's required for the command line tool that generates a Remake project, as well as for the framework itself. So we'll go ahead and download the 12.0 uh, release, or 12.13 release, and it might pop up the security warning. If it does, just say OK, and open up your security preferences. Uh, Node.js is well tested and very secure, so it's okay to just say open anyways right here. And then you just say open. Um, and then you can do continue, continue, and go through all of the steps and click install. Now I've already installed Node.js, so I'm not gonna uh, install it, but once that's completed, you'll have a new tool on your command line called npm which is the node package manager and is gonna be used for installing Remake in this case. So we'll do npm install dash g. That means you're gonna install it globally so that you can use the Remake command line tool anywhere on your computer. And then we're gonna type in Remake. And we'll wait for that to complete. And when it completes, now we're gonna be able to create a project with Remake. So we're gonna say Remake create and then we're gonna say can ban app. And that's the type of app we're gonna make. So we'll press enter there and it's gonna create a new project. It's gonna tidy things up and then it's gonna even install the NPM, remember node package uh, manager uh, dependencies for us. So that's all the tools that Remake needs in order to get started and work. After that's done, it's gonna show us a quick message and tell us the next steps. So we can go into our project directory, uh, right like that. And then we can do npm run dev to run the local server. Now this takes a little bit to set up the first time because it needs to compile some assets. Um, but after that's done, you should be able to go to localhost 3000 and you'll be able to see a remake app running locally and you can sign up for an account and uh, log in and you'll be able to see your example Remake app. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video where I'll explain how data works inside of Remake.